Automotive talk for the Silverado owners. You're talking 1920, it might affect some 21 year Silverados and mostly affects people from suffering from dealer God syndrome and um, going to repair shops that don't have really certified mechanics or re repair shops that really don't look out for their customer's best interest. Granted, everything's based on money, profit, 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 push, push, less we talk, the more money we make. But in the long run, customers suffer. Dealer God syndrome is believing that the dealer is the best place to take your car and like they made it and you can't go to an independent repair shop when realistically an independent repair shop will give you more personalized service and let you know what's really going on and if a lot of times way more affordable. Um, Silverado trailer hitch or a trailer wiring. So we had uh, yesterday a customer come in with a 2019 Silverado um, loaded right up, all the good options and um, he was about an hour away with his snowbill trailer and his light stopped working. Checked the wiring, everything was good. A bunch of friends of his tried testing things. There was no power at the, the trailer light. He's freaking out, he needs to get his trailer back home. Plus he's got a big snowbill trip planned with non-refundable $800 uh, hotel tickets to where he was going up in Old Fort, New York. So. I said, bring it by in the morning, let me do some checking. And of course, you gotta scan everything because everything's computerized now. And believe it or not, they have a trailer wiring computer in the back of the vehicles on these things. And you, you have to actually communicate with it with the scan tool to see what's going on with it. And of course, it was loaded full of codes with no signal, uh, circuit issues, so on and so forth checking double checking resetting the codes a lot of times when it sets these codes it won't allow even the trailer lights to even work so you have to you need a computer in case there's a bulb gets shorted out it's it's ridiculous in my opinion so searching through my database i found hints of an issue but there was no technical service bulletin no technical service bulletins are bulletins issued by the manufacturer saying this is a known problem but the problem with that is your dealerships won't tell you about these TSVs. Because I think, and I think I heard this from somebody, I can't say who, dealerships get penalized for telling people about them. So if you, um, if the customer comes in with a, a complaint, you will get paid to fix it, but a, cust a dealership can uh, realistically keep busy on your vehicle all day long by fixing all the technical service, service bulletins. So, uh, the lot of manufacturers, I think, penalize labor rates with the dealership saying if, you, if you're over a certain percentage of these TSBs, um, you're going to get penalized for them because then they know that they're trying to upsell the job. So it's all about money. Everything revolves around it. But searching on the web, even though I pay 150 bucks a month for reliable data to diagnose vehicles with, we had um, got a call coming through here. I'm just gonna ignore it. We had um, searched the web and found that there was a recent bulletin issued on the um, the trailer wiring, and I guess the circuit isn't designed to hold enough amperage, so it basically shorts out the module and then we found one video the module got all sorts of corrosion and these are 2019s and 2020s it shouldn't be happening people but gm says there's an issue and if it's it happens before your warranty they will fix it but you got to be aware of this problem to get it fixed before the problem gets worse that's where the independent shop comes to play so you can get this information or do some research in it so find out that you they have the modules in stock because there's such a known problem but you can't just plug the module in. You have to change some wiring. So they're actually cutting and splicing to fix some of the wiring. It was called a harness, and we thought it was a whole harness you had to replace. It's not, it's through this cutting and splicing wires. So it takes care of that high amperage uh, circuit problem. But here to educate you, there's a TSB on it. Do some research on it. If you have a problem with this, you can also reach out, reach out to me at Mangello 716. 625-6125. Thanks for listening.